The winner is Cam Newton of Auburn University. Auburn's junior quarterback Cam Newton, the winner of this year's Heisman Trophy. He becomes the third Auburn player to win the award. Newton won it in a landslide, receiving 729 first place votes. Now we go to high school hoops. A senior laden Columbus Grove team started the season off on the right foot with a win last Saturday. Tonight they open play in the Putnam County League. Luke Coles and the Dogs tipping off with Ottoville, and do they ever get off to a great start? Coles, the reigning player of the year in Northwest Conference, bucket and the foul. He led all scores with 23. Later, Jordan Travis drives the lane, hits the hoop, and the harm as Grove would begin the game on a 12-1 run. The Big Green finally stopped the bleeding. Jared Byrne from the corner, cash money for Ottoville. Then, time winding down in the first. Devin Verhoff, triple try, tickles the twine just before the horn. Horn Grove all over Ottaville, 69 to 30 the final. Next up, Bath, Doug Davis's crew going for their third straight win, hosting Bluffton. But the Wildcats trail in the third quarter. Nate Hefner turn around off the window, Bath down two. Later, it's Brad Davis, baseline, pull up, got it. But Bath still behind. Bluffton goes inside to Levi Gleason, who had a monster game. He spins and muscles it up and in for a pair. Final few seconds of the third quarter, R.J. Stratton, the lay-in just before the buzzer. Bluffton takes it 61-55. Shawnee students cheering for their team to get a win at home in Lappin Gymnasium against Marion Harding. First quarter, Indians down eight. Trey Howard is Trey Bien, nailing the three-point bucket, only down five now. Shawnee going to swing it to Corey Ro Royster. He hits a long two, lead cut to three. Then, after a turnover, Howard going to help out some more with an easy deuce, and then force a Shawnee inbound. Off the inbound, Howard to Royster. Yes, it goes as Shawnee surges back to take the lead. Indians overcome the early deficit to claim their first win, 76-68. Perry getting up for their home show showdown with Jefferson. In the first quarter, Perry Scavante Steele on the break, pulls up and drills a three-pointer. Commodores out to a seven-point lead. Wildcats coming back. Ryan Ebiscotti gets the ball off the inbound and connects on a triple of his own. But Perry not done, adding to their early lead. Steele stealing the show early. The junior hits another trifecta. But after trailing early, Jefferson figured things out. They break the press, and Nick Cooks breaks through with a deuce, and the Jeff Cats rally to win 55-42. And Lima Senior victorious today against Mansfield Senior, winning 75-73. Kendall Jackson leading Lima Senior with 24 points, and Tyler White added 20 points of his own as the Spartans improved to 3-0. And now over to girls basketball. Lima Central Catholic looking to win its fourth straight game after they dropped their opener. T-Birds hosting St. Henry at Monsignor Hearst Gymnasium. Pick it up in the third quarter. LCC up three. Stacia Allen with a nice scoop shot here in the lane. T-Birds lead it by five. On the other end, St. Henry applying pressure under the basket, forcing the turnover, and they take advantage with the easy hoop, cutting the deficit back to three. But LCC turns back to Stacia Allen. Strong down low, she had 10 points in LCC's fourth straight win, 40 to 28. Over to Ottaville, where the Lady Green playing host to Bluffton. First quarter pass gonna go to the corner. It's for Lauren Cook. She fires and yes, it goes. Puts the home team up seven. More from the Lady Green. Lauren Kramer with the ball on the wing. Puts it up and it is good from downtown. Kramer had 19 points in the game as Ottaville cruises to an 82-35 win. Jefferson unbeaten thus far in the season, getting up for a home game against Kaleida. Off the opening tip, Cats control the ball quickly to the corner for Morgan Fishbaugh. And bang, just like that, Jefferson up three. More from that hot corner, Kristen Clossing sends a laser pass into Kennedy Boggs. Good for two more, and again, we see Jefferson winning this one in easy fashion, 46 to 29 to improve to four and zero. Oh. Now with a quick look at some high school swimming results. The big invitational up in Napoleon, the host Wildcats sweep the boys and girls team titles while LCC, Salina and OG finished two, three and four. In the girls meantime, Salina, OG and Van Wert were in the top five for the boys.
Still to come, local colleges like UNOH were in action today. See how they fared next. The UNOH men's team had a rough start to their conference schedule, starting 0-2. After winning their last contest, they looked to make it two in a row with a win today. Chris Adams and company welcoming Michigan Dearborn to town at home in the garage. Second half action, racers up by 10. Let's make that 13 after the trifecta from freshman sharpshooter Jake Bolliard. But the Wolves battle back, down just three. Jordan Reddit hits from beyond the arc, game tied at 51 apiece. But the racers lose a heartbreaker in the final few seconds, 77-75 the final. The racers' next opponent Monday night against OSU Lima. Today, Coach Q and the Barons home for OU Zanesville. First half, OSU Lima up one when Shawnee alum Garrick Wortham drives for a little teardrop floater. Later, Wortham on the finishing end of the fast break. He poured in 26 points and eight assists. Keith Wynn Jr. doing the distributing. Perry product Bentley Cooks hangs and hits for two. Then it's Mr. Wynn with a no-look dish to Lima Seniors Lamar Pugsley. He had 17. Barron stay perfect in conference play, 103 to 77. Checking out the rest of the local men's scores. Despite trailing 33 to 32 at the half, Finley improves to 8-0 on the season with a 76-58 win over Saginaw Valley State. Ohio Northern pulls out a tight one with a 68-66 win over John Carroll. And after a 5-0 start, Bluffton drops their third game in a row in a 62-74 loss on the road to Franklin. Back to the garage on Cable Road where it was the Lady Racers taking on Michigan Dearborn. First half, UNOH down a bucket. Molly French spots up and drills the baseline jumper. Game is tied. Racers work the ball inside to Ashley Rothney. She gets the deuce, giving the home team a 17-15 advantage. Later, racers with the pedal to the metal. Amanda Francis quick pass to Rothney for two more of her 13 on the day. More racers. Shea Warman curls her way to the rack. Francis led the way with 18 points. UNOH takes it 75-54. Women's Hoops scoreboard. The Finley ladies complete the sweep of Saginaw Valley State with a 72-63 win. Oilers improved to 6-1 on the season. And Steph Hicks, 19 points and 13 rebounds, paced Ohio Northern to a 69-44 win on the road over John Carroll. Bluffton, they drop one on the road to Franklin, 45-57. And then OU Zanesville, 77 over OSU Lima, who only managed 55. All right, thanks so much, James. We'll be right back.